So a Trexel is a robotic device that can attach onto a child's walker and help the child provide rehabilitation and mobility. So we've designed it specifically for children with disabilities and we've kept in mind that it's designed as a, it's, we've made it an enjoyable process, something that's not intimidating to the child. It reminds the child of Iron Man and gives them the option to actually walk around uh, and enjoy a normal, uh, a normal walk outside. I also understand the inspiration uh, behind the devising this uh, exoskeleton was your nephew who uh, suffers from cerebral palsy. Yeah, so being mechatronics engineers, um, we were always interested in building robotic systems all our life. Um, this continued until a few years ago. Uh, I found out that my nephew has cerebral palsy and that he might never be able to walk. That really pushed us to consider our purpose as mechatronics engineers. Uh, and it became the motivation for us to build something for my nephew. So over the years, we've gone through multiple prototypes, um, all the way until last year, where we finally watched my nephew take his first steps using our device. Uh, it was an incredibly proud moment. Um, it was a proof of concept that showed us that this can work. Um, and now we're preparing a commercial version uh, that I'm going to be taking to Delhi for Pranit. What's in the future for uh, Trexo? Where, where do you see this headed? So we're going to be launching our first commercial version this quarter. Um, while we're starting off uh, with children with disabilities, um, we envision that our technology can actually be used to build a pathway for all disabilities, not just children but adults as well. We envision a future where um, exoskeletons can be used to augment any sort of human effort um, and that's not restricted just to disability but even uh, increasing the ability of individuals as well. And that's where we see Trexo Robotics really pushing the pathway forward. Pranit is 8 now. He was diagnosed for cerebral palsy when he was 4 months old. He has severe cerebral palsy. He is hypotonic above the waist and spastic below the waist. And uh, he has very restricted move movements. He cannot sit, cannot walk, cannot speak. He gave us a smile. That was the first sign. In fact, that was a, a good sign saying that yes, he's going to take his steps and going to uh, walk. The very first day when we had put Pranit, he had put his real big and huge amount of efforts to lift his leg uh, and walk further. But since it was his first attempt with the, uh, Rex, uh, those movements were really very slow. But now, uh, with a little practice, I think it has been uh, three or four days, we have been continually, uh, continuously doing it with Pranit. Uh, the efforts are really very good. In fact, we are really very positive about it.